Thank you. Something to think about, ma'am, sir. Thank you. You, sir? It's a gospel track, sir. I was a bad boy for 22 years. I'm not in an organized religion. I was homeless, actually. Um, I ended up with uh, 13 near-death experiences, three drink drives, and barred from 22 pubs in this area. I'm now 22 years clean of all of that because of one prayer in my bedroom through Jesus Christ with tears coming down my eyes when I was facing jail for three drink drives. My life transformed in a split second I ended up in Israel two years later baptized in the same river as Jesus and stuck on TV to 60 million people do you ever think about the afterlife? yeah why? if there's a way of finding out I wanted to know now forget religion put all religions to the side what's your name? Ben Ben I'm David nice to meet you put all, come on over here a wee bit people but Ben put all religions to the side yeah religions are man made yeah they can't save you yeah they divide yeah God sees our heart. We come into the world enough, and like I said, and we leave this world enough. And God's going to judge everyone. I've been reading the Bible, uh, King, King James Version, because there's a lot of corrupt Bibles out there, mm -hmm. KJV, um, for 22 years, and there's no lies in it, yeah? He's going to judge everyone by his standard. Listen, mm -hmm. Forget religion. Put your lifestyle to the side as well. The Ten Commandments is what he's going to use. Now, you've heard of the Ten Commandments. Yeah. Let's go through three, four, five to see how well you'll do in that day. Mm -hmm. I'm not judging you. I broke all ten. Yeah, just be honest and yeah. true. Yeah. The Ninth Commandment says, they shall not bear false witness, they shall not lie. Have you ever told a lie, Ben? Yep. What do you call somebody who lies? A liar. Um, eighth Commandment says, they shall not steal. Have you ever took anything in your entire life, irrelevant to the value, and not give it back? Yeah. I've... What do you call somebody who steals? Thief. Well, third one. Have you ever take God's name in vain? OMG. Yes. Or the name of Jesus. Yeah. It's called blasphemy in the yeah. Old Testament. That would have been a death sentence. Mm -hmm. If I was to take your mum or dad's name, your brother or sister's name, someone you love, and I yeah. used their name as a four letter fill word to express disgust, you'd be offended. Mm -hmm. How much more offended is God when we use his son's name? Yeah. Blasphemy. Um, two more. You're not married. No. I, I'm married now, but I was single 10 years before I met my wife, um, living on my own. And. Uh, I didn't know the seventh commandment says thou shalt not commit adultery. You know what adultery is if you're married and having an affair. Yeah. But I didn't know there's two ways then of committing adultery. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5, verse 27 and 28, you can read it for yourself. You've heard it said of them of old time, thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you, whoever looks at a woman to lust after her sexual yeah. desire has committed adultery with her already in his heart. Why? He's going to see our thoughts, judge us for our thoughts, our words and our actions. Now, you're a red-blooded male, the same as me. Yeah. You've done that as well? Yeah, of course. Okay. Last one. Thank you for your honesty. Um, it's much appreciated. Because it's hard to see ourselves in this light. The sixth commandment says, thou shalt not uh, kill, thou shalt not murder. Mm -hmm. I thought, I'm okay. You can't get me here. Wrong again. The thought life. 1 John chapter 3, verse 15 says, Whosoever hates his brother has committed murder of the heart. And you know that no murderer have eternal life abiding in him. So when we've hated someone, we've thought all manner of evil against that person, and God sees that, and if we could have hurt them and got away with it, yep. especially with drink, drinking, as we probably would have, yep. that's murder of the heart in God's eyes. Mm -hmm. So we'll stop there. Thank you for your honesty. No that's five of the ten. Now, I look around me, Ben, that's why I'm doing this free of charge, yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm not in an organized system at all, right? Because it can't save you. All these people, including ourselves, within 50 to 100 years, we'll all be dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Now, if you died today, God forbid, and you went before God, and if God were to judge you by that, His standard, which He will, it's the gospel truth. If He judge you by all ten commandments, first of all, we've done five. You'd see you now as a lion, thieving, blasphemous, adulterer, and a murdered heart. Mm -hmm. The book of James says, in chapter 2, verse 10, Whosoever keeps the whole law of Moses, the commandments, yet breaks one, he's guilty of all anyway. Nobody can keep the commandments. That's why Jesus, we've all broke one of those eight billion people. That's why it applies to everyone. When Jesus was on the cross, he paid, he fulfilled the law of Moses. So you'd be heading for his eternal prison, a place called hell at the moment. Yeah. Pedophiles, rapists, murderers, Hitler, Starling, you know, they're all going to go there. If they do that to our family, we want them to go there. We want justice, yeah? Mm -hmm. But God's not stopping there. He's going with the lion and stealing. He's bringing everything out, yeah? yeah? So, good news, Ben. How can God let guilty people like us into heaven, yeah? And at the same time, be a good, righteous judge, not a corrupt judge. But over 2,000 years ago, he sent his son that I just mentioned, Jesus. God came and incarnate and his son on the cross. We're sinners. Jesus was without sin. The perfect son of God. When he laid his life down on that cross, 
He shed his precious blood as a perfect atoning sacrifice to save us from our sins. And it's hard for people to comprehend that. Let me make it easy. I've been reading the Bible 20, 22 years every day. Here on earth, we broke the law. Lying, stealing, etc. On that cross, Jesus paid our fine. That means that when we stand before him in judgment day and give an account of every secret sin and every thing we've done wrong in our life, instead of our, us going to his eternal prison, a place called hell, yep. yeah, eternal torment, yeah, our case can be dismissed, walk into heaven free of charge, Ben and David, not because of anything you have done, yep. but because of everything my son done for you on the cross. Yep. But there's two things you must do to enter the kingdom of God. One I done in my bedroom 22 years ago with tears coming down my face. Yep. When I was facing three, jail for three drink drives, I didn't go to jail in the AA meetings yep. for 18 months in DHI and Bath. Yeah? It's to repent yeah. and believe. We basically repent and say, I'm sorry, with a contrite, sincere heart, like King David did in the Bible. Yep. Forgive me, I'm a wretched sinner. I've broke your commandments, I've lied, I've stolen them. Have mercy upon this sinner with tears coming down my eyes. And the second thing we got to do is to transfer our goodness from ourselves. Stop trusting in our good works to save us. I help that little old lady. I give charity here. I can't save you. We're not saved because of our works. We're saved for good works. Yeah. Uh, for by grace are you saved through faith. And that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God. Not of works. At least any man should boast. It says in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. But that means... You know, at the moment, you're like someone on a plane. Yeah. The engine's on fire. I'm saying to you, Ben, there's a parachute there. Put the parachute on, man. Save you from the jump to come. So you don't hit the ground 180 mile an hour. Yeah. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ, right? To save you from... But you're saying to me at the moment, oh, no, 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 I'll save myself. I'll flap my arms. Yeah. It's not going to work. Yeah, yeah. So the, the second thing is to transfer our goodness. Stop trusting in our own selves, mm -hmm. yeah? And transfer our goodness and put our faith and trust in Jesus Christ, the one who paid the price for us. Yeah. The moment we do, yeah, pick up the word of God. John chapter 3, Jesus said, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Born again is to have a new heart, a new spirit called the Holy Spirit. 22 years, the drink's gone, the drug's gone. Unrighteousness, now I'm learning to do what's right. I haven't arrived yet, I don't have all the answers. Yeah. But I'm trying to do the yeah. best I possibly can. So, good works can't save you. Because if you're in a court of law, say you got 100,000 speeding tickets, yeah? Mm -hmm. You're going to jail. We're both going to jail. We're standing before the judge and someone walks in off the street and they go, hold on, judge. Ben's got no money. David's got no money. I got plenty of money. I'll pay the 100,000. We're free to go. Yeah. Even though we're guilty, we're free to go because another paid our fine. That's what Jesus done. The moment we repent and put our faith and trust in him, God promises because he cannot lie, we'll be born again. He'll fill us with the Holy Spirit, read the Word of God every day, and your life will trans he'll transform your life just like he did for mine for 22 years. Give me a wife for 12 years, which I did not deserve. And basically, you know, man, I'm clean of all of that. If you can do it to me, you can do it to you. Yeah. When's a good time to get right with your Creator? I mean, when are you going to die, Ben? Who knows? I should have been dead a long time ago, bro. <laughs> I'm on borrowed time. There you go. So all I'm saying to you, look at my motive. My motive is love. I'm not asking you to join a church religion. I'm not in one that can't save you. Yeah? I'm not asking you for money. I'm doing this free of charge. I'm doing it because I've got a heart and a love for people. Yeah? I'm compassionate. Mm -hmm. It's like going to a doctor. A doctor, an appointment, 10 minutes. He'll tell you about the disease. He'll tell you about the, the x show you the x-rays. He'll do everything for eight minutes. The last two minutes, when we say, what, what can I do? What can I do? He'll give you the good news. He'll, there's the prescription. Yeah. There's the cure. Same thing, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ alone. There's only one Savior, Jesus Christ alone. So when would be a good time for you to get right with God? I mean, all I'm asking you is before you put your head in the pillow tonight, have a wee think about what I'm said to you today. It takes two minutes to do what I've done. I posted uh, a, a YouTube channel, um, 200 videos of witnessing the people on the streets, Jehovah Witnesses, Mormons, Islam, Catholics, Protestants. My wife was a Catholic, I was a Protestant. We're out of our religions and we're born again in Christ. And it's a free gift. Yeah. God used an unbeliever to put my story in a book to the world. He, two years later, I ended up in Israel baptized in the River Jordan. And then he, he put a woman in my life who was unbelieving in Nashville, Tennessee. And over two years, I spoke to her uh, on Skype. And now it's on Amazon throughout the entire world. I don't make no money out of it. The publish now has got 85% PayPal and tax man get a rest. But it's there to encourage people. They love it, man. I'll check it out. I'll be yeah. getting a new phone tomorrow. Yeah. Because I'm currently home as myself at the moment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ben. I've had a lot of shit happen. Um, my mum died three weeks ago. Oh, I'm so sorry, family. man. I used to, I got forced into religion when I was a kid because so my grandparents were very religious. Yeah. Um, would it be okay? Would it be okay if I pray for you? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah of okay. Course. Let's let's pray for you now. Heavenly Father, Lord God Almighty, Lord Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, we come before you this day with Ben, Lord. 
you know the situation he's in Lord the same as I was homeless for two years living in a, in a garage you know and he's going through he's lost his mum recently Lord may you comfort his heart first of all may you strengthen him on the inner man and may you lead him this night Lord to repent in us and to believe and put his faith and trust in Jesus Christ alone to pick up the word of God the Bible and to read a chapter every day that you may reveal yourself to him through his word may you deliver him from his bondages deliver him from everything that's holding him back from you and thank you for the privilege of bringing him here today Lord we pray that you may water the seeds of the gospel message in his heart Lord and draw him on to you let your goodness draw him to repentance unto salvation this very night that he may pass from eternal death to eternal life and be born again in Jesus precious name according to thy will be it done Amen, Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for listening, sir. Is it okay if I share this on YouTube? Yeah, of course. Okay. Thanks very much.